Now let's go back to this here, because I want to go back to this, because this would never have happened in a million years, but I want to make my point. If you had done Mr. Perfect, which would be Mr. Impossible, Monday. Monday, you would have held Apple. Yes. You would have gotten out in the morning when we saw you're up 830 bucks. You were Mr. Perfect. You absolutely knew that was the high of the day, and you booked the 830. Tuesday, you're Mr. Perfect. You booked 200 dollars in the morning. I think that was all that that day trade it even was. gave really. That was a great exit. Yes. Then, so let's just say Netflix. It doubled. So you had it at 180. I think it was three. I think it doubled. I think it almost oh, doubled. It, it, yeah. It doubled. So how much did you risk in that? I think it was 2,200. Okay. So say 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 you got perfect exit. High of the day you got out. Okay. This is Mr. Perfect. You're Mr. Perfect here. Wednesday, Mr. Perfect. God, Mr. Perfect. That stock, did it drop $2 or $3 from where I called it? 62 something it hit. I think it dropped $3. So let's just say Mr. Perfect, you got the whole $3 move. And you, you know, you made 3500 or $1,500, okay? So how much would you have made here? Let's figure it out exactly. If you were Mr. Perfect. Is there any trades I'm forgetting in here? Any options or anything else you did that we? I, think I don't think so. I think that's it. Yes. Mr. Perfect would have made forty-seven hundred dollars. Very nice. That is a good amount of money for three days of trading. It is. It's excellent money. Okay. So instead, you made fifteen hundred. Here, let's get rid of this. So instead, you made fifteen hundred. Is that what bothers you so much? You, you didn't, it couldn't have, it couldn't have because in your mind you didn't tally that up. Now, sometimes I've been so psycho like that, I've done that, but you didn't do that because you didn't even know. So, what did I just say, 47.50? Yes, we did. 47.50 you could have made, this is Mr. Perfect. This is reality. You made 1500. Yeah, that's killing positions. Uh, We're, just, just follow me here. Mr. Yes. Perfect reality, what could have happened? Okay. Uh, Based on chance, not knowing, because we still don't know. Losing side of that. Yeah. Right. right. Which is that. If they all tanked. Right. If they had all tanked, tanked, so you risked 500. Let's just, so you had risked 500 today, and 500 on the day trade, so that was 1,500. Plus, what did you risk today? Five, oh, that we did that. Um, what did you risk in the Netflix? What did you risk in the Apple? Oh, 2,200, 2,200. Yeah, it was about, yeah, 22, yeah. yeah. Plus 1,500. Plus Apple, 2,200? No, yeah, 23. We added to that, 23.40, six grand. I'm gonna try another way to make my point. Since, the, since Netflix went to 300 or 256 didn't make the point. Yes, this Mr. Was Perfect, yes. Yes. reality, what could have happened? Oh, by the way, this is a loss. Yes. You can't live in this world here. This is the world that you're living in, by the way. Not that bad, but it's pretty darn close. Because you're not living here, and no one is Mr. Perfect. This is where you need to live. And as you live in this world, you're gonna start, this number is gonna, it's gonna get better. It's going to get better, and then, but you can only say, don't you understand? You could all, you, there's, you're never going to get out of this. You're on a hamster wheel. You're never going to get out. You're on this roulette wheel. With, you're never going to get out of that because even if, even if you had, t even if you had a million dollars, I said this to you yesterday, you would say I could have made ten million. <laughs> you wouldn't be out no. there making a million. No. You're saying I could have made four million. I, I don't give a crap about that one point five million. But no. you could have lost six. No, because if you get into that position. You would you would manage yourself down, wouldn't you? You would you would cut half you're out. Never gonna so get, you you're never going to get to that position you if you don't start thinking like this. 
That's what I'm trying to tell right. you. I understand what you're yes. saying. Yes. I do understand. Yes. Okay. I do. Yes. This is a really good point that I'm making to you. Oh, it is. I, yes, I agree. It is. Some people fall into money, dumbass luck, or are born into wealth. They still mismanage it. They give it all away. Yes. They spend it. They blow through it. You see that all the time. You hear it. Yes. They hire bad accountants, attorneys. People steal from them. Just because even if you had all the money in the world, it doesn't mean that you would make the right decisions. So what life is trying to teach you here, I think, is that you've got to start making better decisions. And if you do make oh, absolutely. better decisions, absolutely. then you're going to get where you want to go with the numbers before the comma. Yes. And you will never get there if you don't get start living here. Right. It's interesting because most people that I talk to that have this issue are not risking the amount of money you're risking. Have twenty five hundred dollar accounts, and they and their their mentality is, oh my God, if I could just make five hundred dollars a day or whatever. They're, it's so it's it's interesting that you're that you have the money that you have and are risking the money that you have that you have this situation. Because it's usually people that don't have that much money at all that feel poor, and I'm not saying they're poor, but they're poorer than you, yes. okay, yes. that have that problem with the not having the comma there. I'm trying to figure, I know this is a lot of, this is great, okay, but, and there have been days last year, uh, 2016, where I did, you know, I made some, some of their days, I made this in a train over four grand. When I started, yes, right. and when I started doing that a couple of times, I was like, holy crap, and then I was making some mistakes because I was holding things too long. Yes. And what I realized reviewing my whole mentality and the things I was doing is what we've been doing is much, much better. Yes. Boom, 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 boom. And not having the stress of the possibility that this may not go there right. and then being at my goal for the day and then getting out with 600 bucks. Right. And then saying, why did I do that? That was crazy. Yes. yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I'm watching the train, I'm in, I see the reversal time, I see the bullish market. Does that mean I'll never have a train like this again? No. Does it mean you'll never make have a week like this just because this could fall in the sky, like PBI? You could have had, I mean, you could have had it and we could have gotten it and it could have just fallen out of the sky and dropped $5 like a lickety split. I'm not saying this is never going to happen, but I'm saying this is, this is the element of chance that you're risking that makes no sense. You're saying I would almost rather lose 6000 so that I can try to make the 4750 I don't care about this, even though this is reality. And that's what you're saying. You're saying, well, as long as I have money in the account to risk the 6000 I'm fine with it. I'll lose it. I'll lose it if I have to, because I really got, I can't live if I don't make this. But that's just silly. That's what I'm trying to tell you.